Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at the natural log of x. It turns out that the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, and consequently, the integral of 1 over x is equal to the natural log of x. But how do we know that? Well, again, we go and get some help with the expression in an infinite series. If we write 1 over x as an infinite series, this is what that looks like. And then, if we write the natural log of 1 plus a, as an infinite series, that's what that looks like. Now we're going to make a substitution. We're going to let x equals a plus 1, so that this becomes x. Then, of course, we realize that a is equal to x minus 1, so every a in the infinite series now needs to be replaced by an x minus 1, which means that the natural log of x can be written as this infinite series. Now we're going to take the derivative of both sides and see what we get. So we're going to take the d dx, the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x and presumably that will of course be equal well not presumably it has to be equal right we don't need to put a question mark there the ultimate question mark is will this derivative be equal to 1 over x that's the question mark so we're now going to take the derivative of the right side of that equation so the d dx of and we have um, x minus 1 minus x minus 1 squared over 2 plus x minus 1 cubed over 3 minus x minus 1 to the fourth over 4 plus x minus 1 to the fifth over 5 and so forth. You can see the pattern here. So now let's open. I guess I need a parentheses on the other side. Now let's go ahead and take that derivative and see what we get. So the d dx of the natural log of x is now going to be equal to the derivative of that. So let's do that. The derivative of this would simply be 1 minus the derivative of this would be 2 times x minus 1 times 1 divided by 2. And here we get plus 3 times x minus 1 divided by 3. Oh, and that should be a minus. So minus uh, 4 times x minus 1 divided by 4 and plus 5 times x minus 1 to the 4th. Oop, and I forgot my, uh, let's see here. This is to the second power, and this is to the third power. That's to the fourth power. Can't forget those exponents, of course. Divided by 5, and so forth. All right. Now, let's simplify what we have. So the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x is equal to 1 minus, the 2's cancel out, so we end up with x minus 1, and here the 3's cancel out, plus x minus 1 squared, minus x minus 1 cubed, plus x minus 1 to the 4th power, minus, plus, and so forth. And now let's compare that to the infinite series we have for 1 over x. And take a look, we have 1 minus x minus 1, plus x minus 1 squared, minus x minus 1 cubed, plus x minus 1 to the fourth. It looks like it's the exact same thing, and therefore we can conclude that the derivative, the d dx, of the natural log of x is indeed equal to 1 over x. And so here we have proof that that's indeed the case. That's how it's done.